You know, if you're looking to have a great season this year, one trait you definitely need to master is playing the game one pitch at a time. Play the game one pitch at a time. Now this is a trait and this is a skill that needs to constantly be worked on. It's something that you need to develop, okay? It's kind of like, you know, the first tip that you ever learn when you're playing the game of baseball is watch the ball, right? See the ball, see the ball. And it's one of those things where, you know, it's, it's very important and I know it sounds kind of elementary to watch the ball and see the ball, but you need to constantly work on that. Even professional players always need to work on seeing the baseball. They're trying to recognize pitches better they're trying to keep their head down through contact. So it's the same thing with, you know, play one pitch at a time. It's probably something that you've heard before. It is an elementary type of tip, but are you actually doing it, right? So, so it's so important to play the game one pitch at a time. And why is that? Why is it important? Because the present moment in baseball and in life, the present moment is the only thing that you can control, right? Once an event happens, boom, I snap my fingers. Once an event happens, as much as I wanna go back in time and change that, I can't change that. Once it happens, it's done and over with, right? And vice versa, when something is off in the distance, off in the future, you know, I can prepare for the future, but I have no control over the future right now in the present moment, which is why it doesn't make any sense, you know, if it's the very first inning to be worried about what's happening in the ninth inning, or if it's opening day to be worried about what might happen in the championship game at the end of the season, right? It makes no sense to do that. But it's so important to control the controllables. I always talk about that. And the only thing that you can control is that present moment. So, so key, play the game one pitch at a time. Look, I know you wanna get three or four hits today, right? I know you wanna hit 400 this season, but break that down into bite-sized chunks, okay? What do you need to do to get one hit? Because you can't get three hits all in one at bat, you need to get one hit first. What do you do to get that one hit? Well, you have to win this pitch. Then once you win this pitch, let's say it's it's a ball in the dirt, okay? Ball one, you won that pitch, then flush it, move on, and win the next pitch. And if you win, consistently win pitches, then you're gonna consistently win at bats. And if you consistently win at bats, guess what? You're gonna consistently have great games. And if you do that, if you follow this advice and you truly play the game one pitch at a time, the beautiful thing about it is everything is gonna take care of itself. So all of the stats that you're looking for, all of the accolades, all of the championships, everything will take care of itself if you just follow this advice and you play the game one pitch at a time. But remember, you know, you can't get three hits in one at bat and once an event happens, it's done and it's over with. So let's say you go up your first at bat and you strike out, right? Striking out's no fun, but, but it happened, right? So you're 0 for 1. Well, you have two choices. Your second at bat, you can walk up to the plate with no confidence and you can be thinking about your previous failure. And guess what's gonna happen? If you constantly think about previous failure, that failure is just gonna compound, right? You're gonna have a higher likelihood of failing once again at the plate. So instead of doing that, when you fail, learn from those mistakes. Fail forward, learn from those mistakes. So figure out, man, why did I strike out? What caused me to strike out? And figure out what adjustments do I need to make moving forward so uh, I don't do the same thing again, so I don't make the same mistake twice. And then, then after that, once you've learned from the at-bat and you made your adjustments, then flush it. It's done and over with. There's nothing you can do to go back and change it. So then in your second at-bat, be in your second at-bat. Don't be thinking about the past because good, bad, or ugly, there's nothing that you can do to go back and change it. And vice versa, the same thing's also true if you had success your first at bat. So if you crushed a home run your first at bat, in your second at bat, use that as confidence. Use it as fuel for, hey, I'm feeling good today. Let me hit another one here. You know, use that as, as confidence. But the thing you have to realize, as Babe Ruth once said, is yesterday's home runs don't win today's at bats. So use it as confidence. But you know, I'm telling you, if you're overconfident, if you're, if you're cocky, if you're arrogant, baseball has a way of humbling you in a heartbeat. So don't do that either. You've really just, long story short, it's a skill you've always gotta be working on. Am I truly playing the game one pitch at a time? And whenever you feel like you're getting out of yourself, when you're worried about stats, when you're worried about, I gotta get three hits today, or I gotta do this, so I hit 400 this year, don't worry about those long-term goals. Break it down, reverse engineer it, break it down into bite-sized chunks. All I have to do, I have to play one pitch at a time. I have to win this pitch, then once I do, I'll win the next pitch and everything will take care of itself. 
So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel. And um, I've got another video that I really think you'll like. It's called Seven Things Bad Hitters Do That Good Hitters Don't. You can click here right now to go watch that video. I really think it's gonna help you if you're looking to have a great season this year. So go watch that one right now. Thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you next time.